Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya wa muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ayyul ahabbata fillah a fantastic translation by one of our brothers or a compilation by one of our brothers uh, Abbas Abu Yahya Hafizullahu Ta'ala called entitled Quality Not Quantity and he, in it he mentioned a collection of statements from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Salaf of this Ummah regarding the importance regarding our deeds the importance of our deeds being built upon the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and that is what makes up quality not quantity of many deeds built upon Bid'ah in innovation. Hassan al Basri, or Himullah Ta'ala, said Few actions according to the Sunnah are better than a lot of actions of Bid'ah. Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah said Not everyone who beautifies himself with the Sunnah becomes a Sunni. However, the difference is when al-fitin, meaning the trials and tribulations, occur. Then men become known and the protected one is the one whom Allah protects. Allahu Akbar. Shaykh Muhammad Nasruddin al-Albani rahimahullah ta'ala said, the consideration is not by a lot of worship, but rather it is the worship being upon the Sunnah and far away from Bid'ah. Shaykh Muhammad ibn Sa'ad ibn Uthaymin rahmatullahi alayhi said, Husn al-ibadah aham min kathrat al-ibadah. Worship which is good is more important than a lot of worship. Shaykh Salih ibn Fuzan, half of Allah ta'ala said, Fear Allah, O worshippers of Allah, and rectify your actions. Allah Jalla wa Ula said, Who has created death and life that he may test you which of you is best indeed? Allah did not say which of you does the most actions. So the consideration is not with doing a lot of actions, but rather it is with good action. And an action cannot be good except with two conditions. Sincerity for Allah Azza wa Jal and following the Sunnah of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And from the Sunnah is lengthening the standing after the Ruku and lengthening the sitting between the two sajdas. From Anas ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala who said, Indeed, I will not fail to pray with you in the manner in which the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam prayed with us. The narrator said, I used to see Anas do something which I did not see you do. When he used to raise his head from Rukul, standing straight, so much so that a person could say he has forgotten. And if he raised his head from Sajda, he remained sitting so much so that a person could say he has forgotten. al Imam ibn al-Qayyum said, most of the people had left off the sunnah after the disappearance of the period of the companions. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.